Just a brief announcement, I'm going on retreat tonight, and so next week, Father Mod M Modestus, sorry, from St. Joan of Arc will be covering all the Masses during the week and during next weekend, so I'm most grateful that he's able to do that. He's the chaplain at, at the Hershey Medical Center. Today is the baptism of the Lord. And a friend sent me this a couple weeks ago. It was a little child, a little baby, probably one or two years old, with a phone, holding a phone up to his ear. And the child said this in the little caption below. So today at church, a man in a strange outfit tried to drown me. <laughs> And I kid you not, my family just stood by there taking pictures. <laughs> it's cute. Sam Houston, the first governor of Texas, and a man they said that had a very, very checkered past, and his wife was a devout Christian her entire life. Well after he you know, finished up his term in office, he decided to get baptized, and apparently the church that he got him baptized, they do full immersion down by the river. And the pastor was telling him what, you know, what baptism is and things like that, and that once he gets baptized, all his sins will be washed away. And he said, you mean like every, all my sins, from, from all my past? And he said, yeah. He said, it'll be all washed away as soon as I pour that water. And you go under the water, he said. And Houston paused for a minute and he said, he said, preacher, Lord God, help the fish downstream. <laughs> There's an interesting article I read this past week about different areas, the southwestern part of the United States and the eastern part of California and like Las Vegas and all those areas. Those are all really areas considered desert. And there was somebody that was writing the article and he was comparing the desert and he's saying why he chose to live there. He said, you know, the most important thing of living in the desert where he lived is what? Water, right? Water. He said it's a necessity. He said it's not visible. He said, but in some areas, you drill six feet and there's these luscious streams of water right below the surface, six feet. He said, not all places, though, obviously, but in some. He said, and then it's attainable. He said, so living in the, in the desert, he said, water's a necessity. It's not visible, but it's attainable. He said, it's just like my relationship with God. He said, it's a necessity. It's not visible, but it's attainable. And he said, just like those benefits I get from water, so that living water is the same. And I thought, what a beautiful analogy, isn't it? Our relationship with God is a necessity. It's not visible, but it's attainable. It's attainable. Some of you may remember Rosalind Russell, a woman that was here last Mass. She said, oh, Father, she said she was my favorite actress. I don't think the younger people know who Rosalind Russell is. I never heard of her personally until I read the article, my friends. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> but she was a really classy, classy actress. She was stunning to begin with, but she's also lived a very, very moral life. She only was married once, you know, to her husband. Of, and she went in through some tough periods in her life as well, but she was a devout Catholic her entire life. And there was a, a, a book or a movie or documentary on, about her and things like that. It's, she's a fascinating life. But when she died, there was a little poem that she carried with her all the time, and it was a little taggered from, from her carrying it for so many years. But it said this, Trust him when dark doubts assail you. Trust him when your faith is small. Trust him when simply to trust him is the hardest thing of all.
What a beautiful little poem. Trust him when dark doubts assail you. Trust him when your faith is small. Trust him when simply to trust him is the hardest thing of all. God bless you.